Hello YouTube, this is Talden of Tal's Minecraft. Uh, sorry about no video yesterday, was feeling under the weather, still feeling a little bit under the weather today, but I wanted to go ahead and get a video done uh, showing you guys uh, the things that I have added as well as getting a couple of other things done. As you can see I've got my machine set up here, macerator, a couple of furnaces, my extractors, and I also have some overclockers that I made for them. Uh, to help speed them up because I got tired of waiting all the time. Um, we also have uh, separated out some more uh, ingots from precious gems from unmaceratable ores. Uh, I have also uh, been running my quarry quite a bit. As you can see, I've moved it out quite far. And I'll turn this off. Uh, as you can see, I've also captured some cows uh, to do some leather work and things like that. We'll be using those here in a little bit. Um, basically just been gathering resources and so far I've gotten up to 21 diamonds and I, I've used a couple. I made a uh, mining turtle to play around with and do some things like that, but one of the biggest things that I've done was come up here and I've built out a housing area so that I can expand both my storage uh, I have a place for my machines and I'm planning on putting the second maybe third or fourth story on top of this to uh, let this be my main house um, but right now what I would like to do is uh, work with you guys on making some portable storage um, and to do that we're going to have to get some of this stuff here now, if you haven't played with the red power 2 mod yet uh, LRM has added these canvas bags right here now don't worry about these alchemical bags these are part of equivalent exchange but they don't have a recipe for them yet as you can see I'm hitting R and they have no recipe but the canvas bags are pretty simple to make it just takes eight rolls of canvas which is eight pieces of string around a stick pretty easy to make so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and get eight sticks and it does take quite a good bit of string which is why I've got the flax farm set up but um, as you can see it takes about a whole stack of string but the canvas bag will allow us to go into our inventory and we can actually take if I want to um, I can take uh, say some rose red and I can color this canvas bag so that you can have as many bags as you have colors and actually you have as many bags as you want to carry but what happens is when you right click the bag you see it opens up approximately the size of small chests inventory uh, and that allows me to store stuff that I want to carry with me but don't necessarily need on t on my person uh, in my uh, ready inventory right away so the other things that I would like to make is I would like to make some um, wool I'm gonna go ahead and do that here eight pieces of wool and what that will allow us to do is um, make backpacks from forestry um, if you haven't used the backpacks they're really neat they're kind of like the canvas bags but they're they're purpose driven bags uh, and by purpose driven bags um, like the diggers backpack will only pick up cobblestone and dirt and uh, sand and things like that whereas the um, 
adventurer's backpack or not the event the miner's backpack will pick up your ores um, things like obsidian and uh, iron ore and copper ore and things like that will go automatically into those bags um, really really useful uh, bags system there that allows you to have pretty much like extra storage space um, that automatically picks up stuff in your inventory or picks up stuff for your inventory the other good thing is um, you can take and shift right click these bags and that'll put them in a couple of different modes it will lock them it will allow you to load the bag with stuff or it will allow you to unload the bag putting it in the down mode and you can actually whenever you have anything in the bag and as you can see it's a smaller inventory than the canvas bag but what it will allow you to do is anytime you have anything in the bag you can walk up to a chest and shift right click that chest and it will drop anything that's in there in the chest so uh, let's get our miners backpack here and as you can see it allows iron ingots to go in there but it will not allow anything besides precious gems or ingots or ores or anything like that but you can just shift right click it and as you can see it's gone it's in there already so makes adventuring and dumping easier now one of the things that I have done here is as you can see I've created a void chest which is a simple wooden pipe going into a void pipe with a redstone engine powering it to pull out of the chest. And the reason I've done that is because I've gotten way, way too much cobble. As you can see, I've gotten a barrel full here, two barrels full there, and I've actually got two more barrel fulls of cobblestone out here on my bridge. Now, we'll be able to take care of this eventually when, uh, when we're able to get some Ender pearls and blaze rods and things like that because I'll be able to make some upgrades for the barrels so that they can hold uh, up to 1,024 stacks of, of goods. But um, until that happens, um, there's not really much I can do besides... Um, besides just void the cobble. And as you can see, I've loaded up anything in there that it could carry. And basically, it just pulls all of the standard ores out. Now, it does it does not get like the quartz crystals and things like that. But you can go back in there and pick those out on your own. I need to set up a barrel for marble because I want to store that. And as you can see, it, I have been focusing on resource gathering, um, <clears throat> and that is, for me, and to my mind, that's the most important thing you can do for the first couple of days uh, that you start with these mods. I have, of course, been been spending my time, you know, building out my space and things like that. But a lot of people will start off building, trying to build a space out. Uh, and I, there's nothing wrong with that approach. Uh, it just it doesn't work as well for me. Um, I prefer to try and go ahead and get as many resources started as possible. Um, because in my mind, I don't have enough to get a really good start on building a place until I've got a good selection of resources. So... Um, uh, and that you know that that may sound like nonsense to some people out there, and, and if so, that's great. Um, everybody plays differently. Um, this just happens to be the way that I play. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and store some of this stuff. Now, all of this stuff is going to end up being moved upstairs, um, and I need to separate out my upstairs and figure out how I want to 
make it into rooms. Um, not something that I'm going to try and do right here on camera. It will probably be uh, something that I do offline. But I do want to go ahead and get started on putting this stuff upstairs so we'll go ahead and try and figure out like where I want my storage um, and I, to be honest with you I think I want my storage uh, I think I want my storage right here so let's take and start that right there and we'll just put our marble in there and that's a good start for that. Uh, one thing that I have about decided I am getting very, very tired of having to go through and manually sort these ores out. That is a bummer. Uh, and anybody that has played with me or has watched me knows that I like to I like to have my system sorting uh, sorting its own stuff fairly quickly so that will be something that I'm going to be working on in the next couple of next couple of days next couple of episodes is is working towards a sorting system I did forget to show you that I did go ahead and make an MFE um, and I've also got, I think it's three low voltage solar arrays. Yeah, three low voltage solar arrays powering my system. So I've got pretty consistent power now. Um, even running the overclocker upgrades, I could use more so that I could dump more overclockers in there and maybe be even faster. But I'm pretty happy with the system as it is uh, right now. So the other thing that I would like to do is as you can see I've gotten five minium shards and I would like to go ahead and get three more if I could find some mobs that would drop some if I can ever get lucky enough to get some I need three more um, so that I can get my minium stone that will help me out immensely the, um, so that I can go ahead and uh, do some uh, transmutation of goods as you can see we've got some guys over here that and hey we got one minium we need two more I would like to show you guys the minium stone this episode if I can Let's see if we can find some more bad guys There's a bunch of them over here need more minium stone two more guys come on come on let's see if we can get that zombie olympiad swimmer here come on come on you can do it come on oh apparently he did not have any minium shards on him the minium shards like i was saying before the minium shards do make a minium stone uh which is like a low powered if you've ever played with equivalent exchange it's like a low powered um philosopher's stone uh it allows transmutation of goods wow this guy's attacking me with a shovel now nah, i'm gonna die here eat but it allows transmutation of goods um, kind of like a philosopher's stone but uh, it does have a durability so it will eventually wear out um, so 
you end up having to replace it. That's why it de depends on uh, those creatures dropping the minium shards. Um, because eventually, uh, when you get your mob grinder set up and things like that, you will have you will make enough minium shards uh, to be able to have a, a ready supply. Now the um, the uh, get this guy killed here. The um, Minium stone itself actually doesn't wear out that fast. Um, so, I mean, it, it lasts a good long time. But you still, if when you use it, if you use a lot, it, it does, you do wear it out pretty quick. Um, depending on, again, how much you use it. And yay, you guys got to see me die, which is awesome. Now, as far as I know, um, regular mobs do not drop minium shards, and they do not drop them if uh, angry mobs, I say regular mobs, let's say peaceful mobs, um, and hostile mobs only drop them if you actually kill them or if they're killed by something besides their environment. So like a fall will not cause minium shards to drop as far as I know. Um, and like sunlight burning a zombie will not cause a, a minium shard to drop. So you do actually have to to do uh, a killing blow on them. But in a mob grinder there are ways to do that. Um, and eventually I will start out with our, I will work on getting some soul shards set up so that uh, we can have some mob grinding stuff going on and I think you guys would like to see how I automate that and still be able to get uh, minium stone drops as well as uh, experience points um, because a lot of times even though even though you can use the goods the goods are useful from their drops um, if you can set it up right, you end up getting a better, uh, better setup using it as an XP farm. So let's see here. Go ahead and now I got a carrot and a potato. Potato. Okay, let's go plant this guy. That was my scarecrow that I had made up. Just go ahead and take this whole thing out of here. As you can see, this drill really cuts through sand. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. And we will. Build this back up here. have to be careful sometimes with this drill it will it is pretty quick uh, I'm also with the last episode in this episode I'm, I'm going to try and 
do as straightforward a recording as I can without having to do a whole bunch of cuts um, for a couple of reasons. One, I like for you guys to see what I'm doing even if I'm doing something boring because, you know, sometimes it's just, it's very soothing to have that knowledge that other people go through the same kind of things that you go through and I know that you guys do uh, you have to go through the boring parts not all of it, it can be exciting and you know world shattering uh, world shatteringly cool stuff that is being built and done um, a lot of it is, is just doing the boring stuff and and relaxing and chilling and having a good time while you're doing that so the other part of it is um, and this is this is one of the truer reasons it's because I really hate having to cut up the video um, it's a pain in the butt and it usually adds about two two and a half hours extra time to what I have to do what I have to end up doing uh, to get a video out there because I usually end up um, having to render the video because I have to record every record the video and the audio separately uh, which if you're on Linux you you kind of understand my heartache with with some of the recording software that's or all of the recording software that's available out there there's really no really good software for Linux yet in so far as recording recording your gameplay but so I use uh, FFmpeg and uh, to record video and Audacity to record audio and what that ends up doing is it ends up I have to actually s uh, sync the video and the audio together <coughs> and render it all out which takes about an hour for a 30 minute video so for you know if I'm running a 45 to an hour long video you can add about an hour and a half two hours to the render um, to the to the whole production time because it you know you have to render it out but um, then I have to go through and recut the video itself once it's got the audio rendered out um, one, two three four Um, and what that allows me to do is actually get the scenes in there. One, two, three, four. Without uh, having any, you know, mess ups or mistakes or anything like that. Everybody wants to look professional and and you know come across as being this just awesome player none of us are none of the guys that stream on uh, twitch or or play on uh, YouTube none of us are as awesome as people think we are because we all make mistakes one two three four one two three uh, and you know it, it it happens it happens so um, and I don't mind people seeing those mistakes and I, I hope you don't mind seeing those mistakes so um, the only time that I really will do a whole good bit of video cutting is like if I have to stop and go uh, take care of something offline or if I have a uh, phone call or something like that that I have to take uh, while I'm recording the video and I know you guys have heard my phone ring before and um, lots of times I can just ignore it but sometimes I can't so. Alright, let's get another bucket here. And we want to... I've got some carrots already somewhere. There we are. So it'll let me pick them up. Thank you, Minecraft. And... She's a stone cold ho. And I know that there is Industrial Craft Electric Hoes. I've never really been a huge fan of making those because, well, I just 
I don't do that much farming. <laughs> and even if I did, uh, it, just, it feels to me like there's just so many other things that I could I could build besides an electric hoe. here. A couple pieces of cobblestone gives us another stone hoe. Yeah. And I think we're ready to go to town. Now I'm going to plant you right there. And I'm going to say these three rows are for potatoes and these three rows are for carrots so I got plenty of carrots already I found a village and raided them but they did not have any potatoes so that potato drop from the zombie was really helpful I've kind of been waiting around for that to happen so and basically today I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up on on what I had been doing and um, let you know that I had not stopped the series or forgotten about you or anything like that. Um, I've just, I've been really under the weather lately. I've had some problems with one of my eyes and, uh, I just, uh, was not in any condition yesterday to record a video. You guys would have, would have thought I was drunk, um, because of the medicine that I'm on, so, um, Hopefully today, I don't sound as drunk, and um, hopefully today you get, you're getting some some kind of entertainment out of it. If, if nothing else, you can point and laugh, uh, and that's always good. I like to make people laugh, even if they're laughing at me, not with me. Um, we got our chicken, some silver. As you can see, I'm uh, I'm kind of procrastinating because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna relocate all of this stuff upstairs. I just don't really want to have to move it all. Um, but I uh, will get there. Oh, and this is a neat thing. If you haven't seen this, the popcorn you can cook the corn kernels that you get from the corn in uh, I think it's Zycraft that has the corn. Um, and it gives you popcorn, and in the in the later versions of it, it popcorn actually gives you a spood, uh, spood, a spood beast. It gives you a spood beast. That's exactly what it does. Uh, it gives you a speed boost um, for a couple of seconds. So it's it's really, really kind of a neat little effect. So. Don't, I don't really have much armor. I need to work. Let's work on making some armor for me here. Uh, I think let's let's do that. Let's make some. I got enough iron. Let's macerate up some coal. Oh, uh, you know what I don't have? I don't have a compressor. I need to make a compressor. Let's do that too. I've been, I'll be honest with you guys, I've really, really been hurting for copper lately. Um, as you can see, I'm very low on copper. I don't think I'm quarrying high enough for copper. I think it's higher up than, um, than what I'm usually used to getting. Um, now something that I do in my multiplayer server that I don't that I haven't done in my single player and I would like to um, I would like to talk to you guys and get your opinions in my multiplayer server because I, I don't run a multiplayer server to screw anybody over or anything like that I run a server to play with my friends and everybody have fun and have a good time you know things like that so I will do things like I'll disable creeper explosion damage or um, like with the with the mistcraft worlds i'll disable the um the negative effects and we've got a mining age over there that's absolutely amazing because we don't you know uh with the server i really just don't want to have to have 
300 mining ages made up um, because of world corruption or whatever so what I do is I will go ahead and disable that um, and let the uh, let that you know let that be everybody's money age and I've thought about doing that in my single player but I know a lot of people uh, may consider that cheating or or something like that I'm, and I'm not sure and I, I don't want to I don't want to anger anybody in my in my let's play series here because this is to be honest with you the let's play is not something I do for a lot of entertainment for myself I do it because I feel like you know I do know how to play Minecraft a little bit and I like to give back to the community so if you guys don't want me to disable corruption uh, if you want me to suffer through the corruption and things like that um, just let me know uh, and I will straight up keep um, keep corruption and things like that enabled on the server so or not on the server but on the uh, on my single player uh, world here um, that's something that I had not uh, I have not gone through and disabled it because I haven't been playing with Mistcraft yet uh, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it and, and get your input and see what you said um, because I want to keep you guys happy in so far as um, I don't want you to feel like you know you're watching somebody who's who's willing to cheat just to get their own way um, and the main reason I do that like I say I like to, I like for people to have fun uh, and even though the miscraft corruption in the worlds are are interesting eventually they just they become a, a huge annoyance and oh great this is happening again you know that kind of thing so um, just something that I wanted you guys to think about and, and maybe give me some input on um, speaking of input I always say this please 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 feel free to give me any input uh, negative or positive I, I do read all of it uh, I may not always respond to all of it, but I do read it all, um, and I love, love, love to get your comments. Um, that way I know when I'm doing something right and when I'm doing something wrong. Um, so if you guys, if you guys do have some input on the Mistcraft stuff or anything else that you've seen, please do go ahead and uh, throw a comment in the section below. And this is taking a while. Let's get a diamond here. Forget my. Oh, did I lose my digger? I must have lost my digger's backpack. Oh well, I can make another one. Go ahead and. This our nano suit helmet, which is some good, good armor. And I also want to make up a pair of these. And the recipe has changed on those a bit. It's going to cost four diamonds. One, two, three, four. Kind of expensive. But, you know. 
what can I say? I think it's worth it. Six carbon plates and an energy crystal. So we're burning through diamonds pretty quick today. See how much I love you guys? That's right. Using up all my demons. Now let's go ahead and mace right out another stack of coal. I will definitely use that. I need two more of those carbon plates. I hear you. Where are you at? Where are you at, Bubba? somewhere. I'm, I bet he's hiding over there. Yeah, he's hiding over there. He's afraid of the sunlight. I don't blame you. If I got sunburned that badly, I'd probably hide from the sunlight, too. Yeah, I know. Bad jokes are bad. You know, if you'd wear some sunscreen, man. So, I think that while I'm gathering this up, hopefully that last little bit for the armor will have made itself, or macerated, made itself. If it made itself, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? So... It has, I'm sure, has probably macerated enough for a couple more carbon plates here. So let's take a look. Oh, uh, yeah. Da -da -da. Go ahead and put you in there. And we need that one more diamond. And one, two, three. Oh. Crap. That's alright. Let's just do this. One. Seems like it gets nighttime really fast here in the overworld. We'll take and make us some leggings. And we'll then get those charged up. 
nanosuit helmet should be charged by now. And we can put these leggings away. And that way we'll have some fairly good armor protection. It's not a quantum suit with a gravit chest plate yet, but it's working towards it. So. Um, and this looks like I'm about ready to finish up here. Um, I got everything made that I wanted to get made today and talked about. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, I will do appreciate any comments that you leave. Um, if you please remember to thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, also check out my twitch.tv channel. Um, twitch.tv slash Taladin. I do stream. I haven't streamed the past week or two. Um, but I do, I'm looking forward to getting back to that in the next week or so. Um, and again, uh, if you do have any suggestions on projects to work on, uh, I will take suggestions. I may not get to them right away, but I will take suggestions. And I will also try and answer any questions that you guys may have. So, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for coming out. Uh, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. And we'll see you later.